Aloha friends and welcome back to this channel. Today I'm going to share with you seven natural remedies to heal a sprained ankle much faster. If you have found this video because you have a sprained ankle, keep watching. I'm sure you'll find a lot of helpful information. If you're new here, consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. But before I share with you these simple yet powerful natural remedies for your ankle injury, I wanted to share with you a little bit of my backstory and what happened with my ankle. Also, I wanted to give you a disclaimer that I'm not a doctor. This is not a medical advice. You should always consult your doctor before you do anything new or different. These are just natural remedies that have helped me and many, many other people. With that said, my story was I basically was walking up the stairs in our home and I slipped off the stair, my ankle rolled outward, I heard a cracking noise or more like a tearing noise, I lost balance and I fell off the stairs. So initially as I injured my ankle, there was a lot of pain and I was actually worried that I might have broken my foot and that it's really serious, but then the pain kind of subsided. As long as I didn't touch my foot, my foot was just fine. It was just a little bit swollen and a little bit blue and I immediately put ice on it, elevated it, kind of rested it for the day and I didn't take it too seriously. I did go and get an x-ray the next day just to rule out any fracture and there was none. By the third day, I felt like, wow, my foot is just fine. Um, I think I can actually walk on it. That was a big mistake and I did walk on it for some time and I actually went to a store that day and obviously I was walking and that evening when I came home, my foot got really swollen all the way to my toes like I've never seen before. It was hurting. It was just very tired. You could tell that it was not happy at all. So I realized this might be a little more serious and I tried to rest for another few days. And of course, being a stay at home mom and a wife, I have a lot of things to do around the house. So it was very frustrating for me to try to rest when I know I have so much to do. So for those of you who are going through this right now, I know how you feel and I'm very sorry for your injury. But with these remedies that I will share with you, you will be able to heal much sooner. So don't give up hope. So after that incident with the swelling and pain, I rested my foot for about two days and then I had to walk again. We went out somewhere and I really thought I would be able to walk just fine. And um, I was limping, but I was walking and my foot actually didn't hurt. So I thought, well, I think I'm recovering and it's getting better. Wrong again, that wasn't enough time to rest it. And I'm here to share these mistakes that I did with you so you don't make the same mistakes and that you will heal faster. So if you just take out one thing out of this whole entire video, I wanted you to remember, do not walk on your foot too soon. It will definitely jeopardize your healing. So after the second attempt at walking, I went back to again swelling and pain and again trying to rest. And thankfully I have found some people who have helped me and guided me through this injury. So when I attempted to walk twice and that resulted in more pain and swelling, I reached out to this person and he told me to basically rest at least for three to five days and i think three wasn't enough i definitely needed all five if not six days to totally completely rest the foot have it always off the ground never step on it until that time is over and thankfully by the time it was about a week and a half from my injury i finally started walking and i started slow i tried to walk a little bit and then see if my foot would um swell up again and hurt and it didn't so i continued to walk on it a little more and now almost three weeks after the injury i can happily report to you that i'm walking again without crutches without any help and pretty much with no pain i do still feel my ankle i know it's not completely healed so i'm very careful on it on uneven surfaces and just going slow you know i'm still limping a little bit but it's a world of a difference than just a week ago. Have you had an injury before? And if so, what type of injury did you have? Write it in the comments below. Well, now that you know my background story, let's dive in into these natural remedies. First off, as you can tell, I'm a big fan of natural remedies. I believe that God has created our bodies to be able to heal themselves with proper health. That said, a disclaimer, I am not against medication. 
I think there is a place and a time for them. But in the case of the injured ankle, there's not much you can do medically. So that's when the natural remedies come in. So the first thing is RICE. RICE is an acronym for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. And that is what your doctor will tell you right away if you have a sprained ankle. So that is the first thing you need to do. You're going to not walk on your foot. And if I have to repeat it again, not walk on your foot, even if it doesn't hurt. You're going to put ice on it. You can do it different ways. You can put an ice pack on your foot. If you don't have ice, put a pack of frozen vegetables on it until you can get some ice. You can do a cold food bath where you basically fill up a little tub with water, put some ice in it and just dip your foot and hold it there as much as you can, lift it up, put it in again. Basically, you want cold to your foot. Compression, basically you want to use something like this elastic wrap where you can wrap your foot up so it can feel stable. You can also use something like a lace-up boot um, or any kind of brace you can find in store. It prevents swelling and it helps your foot to feel better. It won't be hurting as much and you will feel a lot more comfortable. And of course, elevation. Ideally, you want to elevate above your heart. And it helps if you can lay down and actually put prop your foot up with something. Or even if you're sitting on the chair, just put it as high as you can on another chair. And I realize we all have busy lives and if you cannot do that, at least kneel on some kind of a chair, like an office chair that has wheels. That's what I have done. In fact, that was one of the best advices I received from my friend who also sprained her ankle. Number two. Take a turmeric supplement. I'm going to show you the one that I used. In fact, I've got all the different remedies here in my basket. This is the turmeric I used. These are capsules. It's called Turmeric Supreme by Gaia Herbs. You can find it on Amazon and I will definitely put the links down in the description below. In fact, I'm going to put a lot of information in the description below, so make sure to check it out. It's basically an easy capsule to take. You take one in the morning, one in the evening, basically one twice a day. And what it does, it reduces inflammation from within. I've heard you can also apply turmeric paste on your foot. I have not tried it. I'm sure it works too, but I thought this was much easier and less messy. Number three, make a clay poultice. Here I have a little baggie with green French clay, and I'm going to have a link where you can find it in the description. Basically, it's all natural clay that comes from the earth. You mix it up with water to make a little paste. You put it all over your ankle or the affected area. You put a little saran wrap over it and then you wrap it with your elastic band. You can have it on for the entire day or it's much easier to do it overnight when you're sleeping. Green clay is probably the best clay that you can use for your injury because it has a lot of minerals. And so what it does, it actually pulls out the inflammation and at the same time it deposits those much needed minerals to your injury where it can help heal faster so this helps with swelling with pain and inflammation number four comfrey one of my friends on instagram when i posted about my injury commented that comfrey would be very helpful so afterwards i went to my father-in-law who is actually an herbalist and in fact makes a lot of herb based products for healing I asked him if that was true and he told me yes, comfrey and white oak bark are actually very, very helpful in these type of injuries. And so being an herbalist that he is, he gave me a little baggie with a whole recipe. He gave me comfrey root and white oat bark and he gave me this whole recipe to make a very concentrated tea of it. And then he said I can use it as a poultice on its own on my foot or I can actually mix it with the French green clay instead of water and put it on my foot together with the clay. And let me tell you, it helped me with swelling, it helped me with inflammation, with pain. Number five, hydrotherapy. Hydrotherapy was my favorite method that I used for this injury. I think it helped me tremendously. Hydrotherapy is kind of a broad term of different things you can do with water to help promote healing in different areas. But this particular treatment I used is called hot and cold foot bath. So essentially it is two foot baths. One is very hot, the other one is very cold. And you put your foot, or you can even put your two feet in 
this hot water as hot as you can take it but not to burn you obviously and you keep it there for about three to four minutes or until you feel really warm once you're warm and comfortable with that food and it's been in that hot water for about three to four minutes then you take that foot and put it in the icy cold water you really want to add some ice to that water so it's a really big contrast between the two and you keep it there for 30 seconds so just remember three minutes hot 30 seconds cold and you alternate hot and cold hot and cold and you do about three to four alternations at least and you can do this once a day twice a day and what it does it actually increases circulation to that affected area and it brings all those minerals and nutrients that are in the blood to help it heal faster i felt like if i did nothing else but just hot and cold food baths it would help me tremendously that was my most favorite treatment that's when i felt my foot actually feeling not as stiff where i can actually move it which is also good to promote healing because you really don't want your foot to just be stuck like in a cast all the time um after a few days when the initial pain is gone you want to be moving it you want to be massaging it and we'll talk more about it in just a minute number six is an ointment or a salve that i use topically to help promote healing not just from within but from the outside as well this is what it looks like it is called bone flesh and cartilage it is actually made by my father-in-law this is what it looks like inside it smells very good and herby i will tell you all the ingredients and what you can use this for it contains white oak and comfrey which we talked about how wonderful they are it also has gravel root marshmallow shave grass black walnut leaves wormwood mullen oat straw lobelia skull cap olive oil beeswax vitamin e oil birch oil and thyme oil and i'm telling you it smells wonderful and it works wonders it is excellent for new and old injuries so if you have an old injury that is still bothering you this would be really good to just massage deep into the tissues and hold muscles bruised ribs and more this is also great for when you have like a big bruise and you want for it to go away fast just take this and just massage it into the bruise it will help it heal so much faster and so again it is called bone flesh and cartilage and i'm going to put the links where you can get your own down in the description below now this is a little bit of a bigger bottle he makes all kinds of different ointments for different things and the smallest one you can get is like this and i think these are like 6.99 if you're not sure about it and you just want to try a small amount this would be the best way to go and the last one number seven is massage and rehab exercises and for this one i want to give a shout out to bob and Brad, the best physical therapists on the internet as they call themselves they have an amazing channel where they basically explain to you all these different things for different injuries that you can do as a physical therapist and so they have a lot of videos on sprains and uh, rehab exercises and massages i'm going to link a couple of their videos that were helpful to me down in the description below so be sure to check them out you won't regret it but basically you want to massage your foot your injury to further bring the blood into the injured area further promote healing and to kind of strengthen the ligaments because when you sprain your ankle a lot of times what happens is you either really stretch or overextend your ligaments sometimes it's a partial tear sometimes it's a complete tear and when they heal together sometimes they heal kind of in a weaker way so as the bob and brad explained it you really want to massage it like a deep massage of your tissues underneath the skin to promote healing and to promote proper realignment and and restoration of your ligaments of course you don't do these things the first the second day when you're in a lot of pain but as you're able as you feel like your foot is getting better you want to start some exercises and by exercises i don't mean walk on your foot but just move your foot up and down back and forth sideways just kind of slowly regain that flexibility of your foot and in time if you do everything right and if you are patient and do not walk on that foot too soon you will be able to finally be on your feet to finally start walking and finally get back to your life so if any of these tips were helpful to you please give me a thumbs up if you know of anyone who is suffering with a foot injury or any other injury 
A lot of these natural remedies that I shared with you today are applicable to other injuries. Please share this video with them. Also, I wanted to remind all of my followers or those of you who are new that I have an Instagram where I post pretty much daily. I post a lot of vegan vegetarian recipes or different inspiration or just things I do every day. And this is a great way for you to stay connected with me. So if you are interested, go ahead and find me at aloha double underscore marina. And the link to my Instagram will also be in the description below. So thank you so much for watching friends. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.